Hey there, my perfectly sized friends. In this tutorial, we're taking a look at the resizing options in Resolume Arena, Avenue, and Alley. For this tutorial, I will be using Resolume Arena, but all methods shown work in Resolume Avenue too. With that out of the way, let's get started. When talking about resizing, we're talking about adjusting the resolution of your content. Resolution is defined as the width and height of your content in pixels. As an example, Full HD, also known as 1080p, is a common resolution of 1920 times 1080 pixels. Before we start resizing our content, we should have a look at how to resize our compositions. In the Composition menu, we will be looking for the settings. We'll ignore all the other settings for this tutorial and only look at the size. Here you can create your own custom resolution which can be useful when working with odd-sized screens, LED panels, or when you have a screen in portrait mode. Portrait is a commonly used term for screens that have a greater height than width. The resolution drop-down menu can be found under this little arrow over here. This menu contains all commonly used resolutions like 720p, 1080p, 4K, and even 8K. Once you have found the resolution that you need, make sure to hit apply. Before we get resizing with Arena and Alley, we should take note that you can prevent the entire resizing issue when dealing with footage packs that you have bought from the Resolume Footage Store. In your account, where you can find all the footage packs you own, you have the option to download the packs at a lower resolution. Here we can see the Cyborg Space Pack that I own. I have the option to download it in 4K Ultra High Definition or lower the resolution all the way down to Standard Definition. Next, let's jump into Arena to check out the resizing options available there. During your VJ career, you will frequently have to resize your content from one resolution to another. Maybe your footage is 4K, but the screen resolution of your gig is 1080p. You could convert all the footage using Resolume Alley, but Resolume Arena and Avenue have some quick and easy tools to resize right there on the spot. Do keep in mind that resizing your content will always degrade the video quality, depending on the resize mode and the target resolution. For this tutorial, I have intentionally made a video file with a weird resolution of 1000 by 900 pixels. We can see that the file does not fill the composition because of the transparent area around the clip. The quickest way to fix this is by resizing the clip inside the clip panel. Here we find this little expanding arrows icon, the resize button. Hitting this button will resize the clip. As I hit the button multiple times, the clip will be resized according to different modes. Fit, Fill and Stretch. Which mode you pick is up to you. If you want to specify the resize mode directly, you can do that by right clicking on the clip handle, navigating to Resize and selecting your resizing mode. Additionally, this method can be used to resize multiple clips at once. I'll hold down the shift key and select a range of clips. Right click, navigate to resize and hit the resize mode of choice. There is also the option to auto resize everything on a given layer. To do this, navigate to the layer panel and under the video tab you will find the auto size parameter. All clips on that layer plus any clips you add afterwards will be auto resized with the selected mode. The fill mode will, as the name suggests, Scale up the content until the entire composition is filled. While doing this, the fill mode will maintain the aspect ratio of your content. In this example, this means that some of my content will be scaled out of view. Similar to fill, the stretch mode will also scale up the content in order to cover the entire composition. But unlike fill, the stretch mode will not respect the aspect ratio, distorting the image in order to keep it within bounds. The fit mode will also scale up the content, maintaining the aspect ratio until either the width or the height of the content matches the compositions. This is the only mode that will not fill the entire screen. Besides using the resizing options, you can use the transform widget to quickly make scale adjustments to your content. If you want to learn more about the Transform widget, make sure to check out the tutorial in the video description. Resolume Alley can also be used to resize your content. In fact, it is a tool that I used to create my example clip for this tutorial. In this example, I have made a small recording of my VJ performance and I want to get it ready for Instagram. 
I will use the H.264 codec with medium quality, which is a great setting for sharing your work online. By default, Ali will adhere to the original resolution. Hitting the drop-down menu will again find the most commonly used resolutions, as well as the option to enter a custom resolution. I want to post my video in the 1080 by 1080 rectangular resolution, so custom it is. For this video, I will use the fill scaling mode. Next, I hit Q and my video will be ready to go. Here we can see the differences in scaling modes. Note how the fit scaling mode has introduced black bars in order to fill up the empty space. And that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.